Welcome back today in our Sunday spotlight. We're talking pumpkins. No need to check your calendar. It's only August. We're not talking about average size pumpkins. We're talking about ones that need to be moved with forklifts and grown right now. Alex Noel is a well known Connecticut grower of these monster size gourds. Look at that picture. Last year he won the Topps Fields Fairs All New England Giant Pumpkin Way Off. His winning pumpkin weighed 2,092 pounds. Today, Alex joins us from his pumpkin patch where this year's crop is already taking off. Alex, we can see that pumpkin in front of you. They're already uh, well underway. So 2,000 won it last year. What's this one right now? Uh, this one right now is about 1,300 and a half. Uh, I have my doubts that it will reach the weight that uh, I was able to last year. It's been a very difficult year with the drought, but uh, fingers crossed, things are still healthy. That's what counts. All right, well, tell me about this process. Uh, I read an article about you that said you started wanting to do this when you were 11. Uh, that's an unusual thing for an 11 year old to want to do. How did this become your thing? It, uh, it certainly was unusual. Uh, middle school was uh, was a bit tough as a pumpkin guy, but uh, it's paid off, uh, <laughs> paid off nowadays. Uh, I was always interested in pumpkins as a kid. Um, I wanted to get as many as I could, uh, you know, around Halloween and Right about 10, 11, 12 years old, uh, I discovered giant pumpkins after a trip up to the Topsfield Fair, and uh, I haven't looked back. So uh, last year, you had the biggest pumpkin at Topsfield. Was that, is that your goal? Or are we good? What's next? Well, you know, I'd love to win Topsfield again, but uh, there's 50 or 100 other people in New England who would also, and I think this year it's probably going to be one of them. Um, this season's been very difficult with the drought, excessive heat. Uh, and a few things that have gone on here, but, uh, you know, fingers crossed. You never know. So I, I know people who have taken some pumpkin seeds and thrown them off in the side of the yard and gotten some pumpkins. I suspect your process is a little more involved. Uh, we only have, uh, you know, f four minutes or so left, so you could probably talk for an hour about this, but give us the quick rundown on what it takes to get a pumpkin like that. The most important thing for growing a giant pumpkin is you need full sun. The more sun they get, these leaves that you see all around me are the solar panels for the plant. And the more energy they take in from the sun, the more food they can make for the pumpkin. Uh, beyond that, you need to make sure that your soil nutrition is just as good, just as well balanced as it can possibly be. Of course, they need quite a bit of water. Uh, and then as the season goes on, you start to get into things like dealing with insects, dealing with fungal issues, uh, dealing with splits on the fruit or on the vines. These pumpkins can grow as much as 50, 60, sometimes even 70 pounds a day. Uh, and when they're growing at that speed, you have to deal with a lot of um, a lot of different things that come up. So chasing the problem of the day is what it comes down to. So you said this pumpkin in front of you is 1,300 pounds. When did this uh, seed go in the earth? And, and, and tell me, take me through how long we are and when this will be done cooking. So the, uh, the seed went in the ground about April 12th this year. Uh, the plants come out into the patch the first week of May. This fruit itself that you're looking at was pollinated the 28th of June. So this fruit is about, uh, about 52, 53 days old today. And when will it be at its maximum size? Well, you hope that the maximum size is uh, the day of the contest. Uh, if something goes wrong, they can certainly lose a little bit of weight before the contest comes around in evaporation loss or, or a number of other ways. But uh, I'm hoping it'll be at its maximum size sometime in the first week of October. That's now, I know you have multiple prospects that you'll be considering. How many pumpkins that size do you currently have growing? Uh, I have another two behind me here, and they're all about the same size. They're in the 13 to 1400 pound range. Still and will doing you do about right 25 up to the day of the contest, and then to see which one's the heaviest. Or at some point, do you pick out a favorite and baby that one? Uh, well, we measure them throughout the season, so I know their volume more or less. I have a flexible measuring tape that I wrap around the pumpkin in several different directions. Compare that to a table based on known pumpkins of the past. And then I develop a decent estimate for how much each one of them weighs. And I'll take the heaviest pumpkin to uh, the way off with the most entries or maybe with the best prize money. And there are several different contests called way offs that I can go to, one with each pumpkin. Yeah, you won Topps Field. Uh, are there other big pumpkin contests? Are, are you a, a pumpkin champ all over the place? How, how is it in the world of big pumpkins?
I think you may have lost me there for one second. Tell me about the world of big pumpkins. Are there lots of contests around, or are you mainly aiming for Topps Field? Okay. We're back in, but I don't know if they. I can hear you. Here. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Sorry, his, his phone overheated. Yep. I'm going to tell him the last question I asked and just have him answer it. All right, Alex, can you hear me? Okay. Yep, I can hear you. All right, so right before we lost you, and, I, and just don't answer it yet, but I'm going to tell you what, and then we're going to go. Um, fortunately, we had a, a picture of you guys standing next to a big pumpkin on the screen, so the viewers at home won't be able to tell that we lost you. The question I asked as you were disappearing was, uh, you won Topps Field. Are there other pumpkin competitions, and do you take these pumpkins lots of places? So as soon as the control room tells me we're ready, I'm going to have you answer that question, and then we'll go through the rest of the interview, okay? Sounds good, thanks. All right, hold on one second. Let me just see if they're good. Marnie, are you good for me to go? All right. All right, hold on one second, Alex. He's going to ask it again, then you answer. So if it doesn't overheat again. Very good. All right. Alex, you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. So, Alex, we said earlier in the interview that you uh, won Topps Field last year. Uh, are there other pumpkin competitions out there? Are you entering all over the place, bringing your pumpkins to lots of different competitions? So each pumpkin can only be entered into one contest, uh, at least as an official entry. You could bring it to additional contests if you wanted, but it would just be for show. You can't win any prizes or anything. And given the hassle of moving a, a one-ton pumpkin, you generally only bring them to one contest apiece. Um, I'll be taking this one to uh, probably a contest down in uh, Warren, Rhode Island on Columbus Day weekend called Frerich's Farm, put on by the Southern New England Giant Pumpkin Growers. The one behind me um, may go to a fair up in Deerfield, New Hampshire, uh, about the last Friday night in, uh, or sorry, Thursday night in September, and then the one furthest behind me will probably be going back to the Topps Field Fair, where I bring one every year, which is held uh, the last uh, the last weekend in September, running through the first week of October. We saw some pictures of you at some of these various contests. I mean, there's U-Haul trucks, there's forklifts. This can't be a cheap hobby. Fortunately, I see there is prize money for having the biggest pumpkin, but this has to be a labor of love for you. It, it, it certainly is. That's the only way you could describe it. It's a passion project. Um, prize money, you know, can be significant. The prizes can go as high as about 10,000. But, you know, I have about a thousand hours a season into growing these things, plus the cost of chemicals, fertilizers, um, equipment, fuel, irrigation, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, when you come down to it, even on a great year, even on a championship year, I'm making a few dollars an hour. So, Financially, you'd be better off at a 7-Eleven than growing the giant pumpkins, but it's something I love to do. So Only a, only a couple seconds left. Do you know the world record weight? The world record is 2,702 pounds grown in Italy last year. So is that your goal? You're going to break it? Because I'll come do the show from your pumpkin patch if you get set the world record. 
Yeah, maybe uh, maybe in a future year, but it's not happening in 2022, unfortunately. All right, Alex Noel, grower of giant pumpkins. Thanks for being with us on CT22. We look forward to hearing how you do at Topsfield. That is CT22 for this week. CBS Sunday Morning is next. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll meet you back here in Studio A next Sunday morning.